welcome to our lab. After we collect our samples in the field, we bring them here to analyze them for E. coli concentration. We use two different methods to do this. They are both culture-based methods, which means that we grow the E. coli organisms in order to count them. The first method is the IDEX Colert method. The other method that we use is the membrane filtration method using modified MTEC auger. I'm going to demonstrate the IDEX method for you first. This is our bottle of sample water. This is what it looks like when we bring it back from the field. We need about 100 milliliters of sample for each analysis method. So I'm going to start by measuring our sample using this graduated cylinder. You'll notice that we have tin foil over it. That's because everything is pre-sterilized. We want to make sure that we're not introducing E. coli organisms from the lab into our sample. We only want to measure the E. coli that was originally there. Next, we are going to add our reagent to our mixing bottle. This Cold Alert reagent contains a number of different chemicals. There are chemicals that allow the E. coli to grow, as well as two different chemicals. One will turn yellow if there are total coliforms in the sample. The other will glow under a UV light if there are E. coli present in the sample. Now I'm going to add our measured water to the mixing bottle. We'll dissolve the reagent in the sample. This will take a couple minutes to dissolve, so I've prepared one in advance that's already mixed and ready to go. This is what it looks like when it's all dissolved, not much different. These are the trays that we use for the IDEX Colert method. They're open at the top and I will pour our sample into them. Next, I'm going to remove the bubbles from the wells, and then we'll put the tray through the sealer. This is going to do two things. It's going to distribute the sample evenly through the wells and seal the tray up. Our IDEX tray is now ready to go in the incubator. Now I'm going to show you our membrane filtration method. I have some tweezers and ethanol. I'm going to sterilize them by passing them through this flame. Then I'm going to take our filter and put it onto our filter cup. Next, I'm going to measure out our sample. We're going to use 100 milliliters of water, same as for the IDEX method. I'm going to add this to the filter cup. Then we will turn on our pump, which will draw the water through the filter, leaving behind the E. coli organisms. Next, I'm going to use our sterile buffer to wash the inside of the filter cup. This will wash any remaining E. coli organisms down onto the filter. I'm going to re-sterilize our tweezers and put 
put our filter onto our Petri dish. I'm going to remove any bubbles so that the entire filter is in contact with the growth medium on the bottom of the Petri dish. Our plate is now ready to incubate. Now I'm going to put our tray and our petri dish into the incubator. This is a 35 degree Celsius incubator. The IDEX tray will stay in this incubator for 24 hours and then be ready to count. The membrane filtration plate will be in this incubator for two hours and then we'll move it to our warmer incubator for the remaining 22 hours of its incubation. After 24 hours, we take the IDEX tray out of the incubator. You can see that some of our wells have turned yellow. The wells that are yellow contain total coliform bacteria. Next, we turn out the lights and put our tray into this UV light box, which shines a UV light onto the tray. You can see the wells that are glowing contain E. coli organisms. After 24 hours of incubation, our membrane filtration plate is ready to count. We will use this microscope to help us count the colonies that have grown. You can see a number of colonies have grown on our plate. The ones that are purple are E. coli.